here we have the Rotor Geeks 7075 series 1407 motors. These come in uh, 3200, 3600, and 4000 kV varieties. Um, so these motors have been uh, uh, this class motor has been pretty pretty popular lately uh, for three inch builds. So here we have uh, yet another option uh, for uh, for our builds. So let's uh, let's look at these. Uh, see what they're see what's inside. Uh, so it's you know it's your basic uh, your basic uh, motor configuration. Uh, there's some uh, blue epoxy that's uh, balance uh, balancing mud. So it shows that they they've done uh, dynamic balancing. The magnets uh, they seem to have a slight curve. Uh, it's not that pronounced. So these are made out of uh, uh, the armature is made out of 7075 aluminum, which is uh, one of the stronger aluminum alloys. Uh, most motors are made uh, with that, but uh, some are uh, some are made out of uh, the weaker 6065 aluminum, I believe it is. So that, that that's a that's a good feature to have, especially on 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 multi rotors. You know, we we crash them often, so. Uh, you know, we want them to be, uh, we want the motors to be impact resistant and resilient. The shaft seems to be pressed in. There's no uh, grub screw. So on the product page, it says that you know they went, uh, they chose to do that because you know it, uh, it's just one, one less component to worry about. Uh, that being the grub screw. So this is supposed to be pressed in pretty hard, and they also use adhesive to uh, to hold the the shaft in place. And uh, uh, this is uh, secure with a regular E clip. Uh, that's how they secure the the um, the bell to the rest of the motor, and uh, they use. Uh, they use this uh, compression washer. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of like a wavy washer that goes inside here, and uh, that kind of uh, adds a little bit of pretension into the uh, to the bell, you know. So it's it's there's less play. So that's a good thing, and uh, the stator. Stator just uh, seems to be just the nominal uh, seven millimeter dimension, the, the height of the stator. Uh, in comparison, the brother hobby is just slightly over seven. It's like seven point two, seven point three millimeters. So, so this one's a little bit taller. Uh, so it's not quite seven millimeters just a little bit taller the windings uh, they're single strand and according to the product uh, page these are hand hand wound so um, hand wound is the word uh, and these seem to be 0.2 millimeter laminations from what I from what I can see, uh, so overall, pretty, pretty good, pretty good construction on the motor. Uh, and uh, let's see what it weighs. Uh, these come with the uh, what the wire is. Uh, let's see that the wire is about a hundred, about a hundred millimeters. And so this way in at uh, with that length of wire. Let's see if I can get it to stay there. Um, Thirteen point nine grams with uh, that length of wire. So it'll be slightly uh, lighter once you cut the wire to to the desired length. So uh, the other the other. 
uh, KV, they pretty much have the same construction. Uh, the only difference is going to be the amount of copper on the windings. So a little bit less copper for the 4000, a little bit more copper for the 3200 KV. Uh, so there you go. That's uh, an overview of the motor. So now let's uh, move on to the to the thrust test. Alright, so here we have the results for the thrust test of the Rotor Geeks 7075 series, 1407, 3600 kV. Uh, the kV measure was actually slightly less at about 3520 kV, so it's not quite 3600. Uh, looking over at the thrust results, uh, they're pretty much in line with the, with the measure kV. So you know 519 for the 3 by 3 by 3 540 for the HQ for blade and about 570 for the rotor X um, that's that's what's expected uh, this is the new uh, well not really new but uh, fairly new Lumineer prop uh, that I added to the roster thanks to uh, one of the YouTube viewers sent it in uh, so that I can test it. So now I'll, I'll be adding it to the roster, and I'm, I'm actually thinking of uh, not including the rotor X anymore because this one's kind of a pain to to uh, mount and remove from the motor. Uh, the blades are quite a little bit on the fragile side, so you have to be like uh, very careful when you grab it to loosen the nut, the prop nut. And oftentimes, uh, you know, you, you just kind of grab the blades and they, they get bent. Uh, so I, I'll probably just test the Lumineer from now on. Uh, the results are pretty similar. I mean, almost identical. So so this, you know, whatever this prop makes, uh, it's going to be very close to that. So you'll get an idea anyways. Uh, also went ahead and tested 3.5, 4-inch, and 5-inch props. Uh, Rotor Geeks mentioned on their website that they were they used uh, they have used the DAL 4045 by 3 uh, V2. This is like a miniature prop of the 5 inch V2, and uh, they had mentioned that they have used it without any issues. So I just thought I 
throw it in for test and it did did pretty did pretty well 750 grams uh, uh, again in the as I've always said uh, you know don't don't get uh, uh, scared by these high amps this is just on the thrust thrust stand uh, once you're in the air this amperage is gonna be way lower I mean uh, probably up to 35 percent less so that's quite a lot of difference between the uh, thrust stand and uh, once you're moving in the air uh, on the 4045 which is probably a, a good match for this motor uh, we're seeing about 700 grams of thrust at 20 amps that's very manageable once you put it on a quad and get moving in the air the, these motors should have no no problem moving that prop uh, on 4s uh, there's also some uh, 3s uh, tests right here uh, as you can see there's quite a lot of difference between 3s and 4s uh, that's why most people run these motors on 4s because that's where the sweet spot is uh, for the larger props though, the 50-30 and the 40-45 by 3, uh, 3S seems to be a pretty viable uh, uh, prop for for a light quad. So, so that's something that uh, some of you may want to try or have tried. I, I know some people have been flying f this 50-30 uh, on 1407 motors. I think they've been using 4S. Not sure. I have to double check that, but uh, they've been flying it and no issues. They report so, but of course they're using like super light, super light builds. Uh, so no. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, that's the results for this motor. Uh, yet another good option for the three, uh, three inch build, uh, coming from Rotor Geeks. That's a very reputable company. They've been around for a while. Uh, they've uh, they got a lot of the they've done uh, some good job on motors uh, uh, on the larger motors so these uh, small ones seem to, seem to be following on the same tradition uh, they do mention on the website that uh, these motors are gonna have uh, all the spare parts uh, to rebuild them if you need them so that's a that's a big plus uh, to have a uh, spare parts uh, so you can you can service the motors uh, quite easily uh, so thanks for watching and I'll have the results for the other uh, for the other uh, KV varieties of this motor so just keep an eye out uh, it'll be a few days and uh, thanks for watching and until the next time